Hey, what's up guys? It's Timeless and I'm super excited about this video because I'm going to be talking about all Gears of War 4 as most of you guys are aware of. Gears of War is one of my favorite series of all time. So talking about anything involving Gears of War is just awesome. So uh, let's get started. First off, I want to give you guys the dates of the beta that's coming out. So basically April 18th is the closed beta. And so if you played Gears of War Ultimate Edition, which is this game that you're watching right now that I'm playing, um, then you will, before April 10th, then you will be able to get into the beta on April 18th. And if not, don't worry, you guys will still be able to get into the beta, except it'll be on April 25th, so at least you, can st you still get to play it for a week, because I think the beta ends sometime in May, I think May 1st or 2nd, sometime like that. If not like April 30th, somewhere around there. But anyway, so I want to talk about basically some of the new stuff that they added, because if you guys aren't aware of, there's actually some gameplay footage of Gears of War 4 now that's uh, been released, so you get to see some gameplay, and I just think it's amazing. I know a lot of people, uh, while I was watching the gameplay, Play footage on YouTube with but with some other YouTubers that YouTubers that got to play it early. Um, I got to see the graphics and they're not too bad. I know a lot of people in the comments were complaining about the graphics being not so good and that it looked kind of like a 360 Gears of War basically. And I would say it kind of did. I would say it, it it looks like Gears of War Ultimate Edition to be honest. But the gameplay is just much faster. It's much much better. I think. And to be frankly honest, I'm not super concerned on the graphics because I just love the gameplay more than anything else. But um, obviously, I was looking forward to seeing some massive, awesome difference in graphic fidelity. But um, we also have to consider, guys, it is a closed... I mean, well, it's going to be an open beta too, but it's just a beta in general. It's a beta, and so there's still going to be some changes, and I'm sure they're going to improve the graphics a little bit. Considering a lot of people are complaining on the graphics not being too good, I'm definitely sure they're going to be trying to uh, improve them so people don't uh, keep complaining on that. Oh, and one other thing to consider as well is YouTube doesn't actually show the full you know, quality because it does compress the file and the video and everything else, so it's not as uh, detailed as you as you would see it when you're actually playing it so that's another thing you have to consider so if you consider it's a beta and that it's on YouTube so it's not gonna show the full quality that it you would see if you were playing it on your TV or uh, gaming monitor or whatever then um, yeah so there's no reason to complain I think it's gonna look great at the end when Gears of War 4 is officially released but um, nonetheless it actually still looks pretty good to me to be honest and I'm not complaining at all on that and besides the graphics that I want to get away from I want to talk about uh, another thing I saw that I really really like and honestly this is probably my favorite thing I saw on Gears 4 so far is that there's a new game mode called uh, dodgeball and no guys there's no dodgeball unfortunately but basically um, what you do get is kind of like the game style of dodgeball. So basically the way it works, it's a 5v5, both teams spawns on opposite sides, and basically if you kill an enemy team and uh, the enemy de team then kills one of your guys, the guy you killed gets to respawn because the enemy team killed one of you guys. So let's say there's 5v5 and then it goes down to a, let's say, 2v2 match and my team kills one of their guys then it becomes a 3v2 because since my guy killed one of their guys uh, my guy gets to spawn my teammate gets to, get to, gets to spawn so it's kind of it's kind of cool because it's kind of like a tug of war so even if it's like 1v5 and you're the last man you literally still have a chance to bring your team back because as long as you kill one of their guys you're gonna make it a 2v4 and that's a huge difference from a 1v5 so it's a great tug of war match and I think it's gonna be amazing and uh, super fun to play so honestly I cannot wait for the beta I'm gonna be like uh, not streaming I'm gonna be recording a ton of footage of it and uploading it to YouTube so if you guys are interested in seeing some Gears of War uh, 4 gameplay and I'm hopefully gonna bring some tips too because I would say I'm not the best Gears of War player, but I, I'm definitely not the worst. So I'm going to try to bring some tips for you guys if I notice anything that uh, could give you an advantage in the beta. And and yeah, anyways, some tips and tricks and stuff like that. And just gameplay in general because uh, I want to show you guys the game in case you guys haven't seen it or played it. Uh, it's, it's a really cool game and uh, I think it's something to get into. It is a little bit like the learning curve is a little bit bigger than most other games, I would say. Because I, most games are first person shooters. This being a third person cover shooter is a little bit, I, w I don't want to say tougher, but it's definitely different. So it might take you a little bit longer to get used to it. But once you do, it is a great game, awesome to play. Anyways, I'm going to be bringing a lot of footage on April 18th on the Gears of War 4 beta. And um, I know the Gears, or not, 
and this is so off topic but the doom beta is april 15th to april 17th so i'm going to be doing that and then april 18th i'm going to start my gears of war 4 beta uh upload so that should be pretty awesome we're going to be bringing all types of videos so anyways thanks for watching guys leave it a like comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already and i will see you guys in the next one Thank you.